Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Admiral George Ursabia during the Maritime and Archipelagic Nation Awareness Month Summit on September 25 revealed its proposal to build a hospital ship for the Philippine Coast Guard. Quoting quotes, It is high time that the Philippines start the capability to produce its own naval platforms like all developed economies and credible navies in the world. Out of the several ships existing today that can be used as models, Admiral Orsabia cited the Vietnam Navy's hospital ship Canhoa HQ-561 as the most optimally sized hospital ship for the Philippines. The Philippine Coast Guard's proposed hospital ship is set to perform the following missions. To respond to maritime disasters and calamities, to perform medical missions to far-flung areas in need of primary medical care, and support maritime coastal operations. The proposed hospital ship will have the following specifications. A length of 70 to 85 meters long, a speed of not less than 25 knots, a range of not less than 4,000 nautical miles, an endurance of not less than 45 days, with 20 medical staff capacity, 5 patient wards, 2 operating rooms, an x-ray room, a dental room, medical laboratories, an emergency room, a consultation room, storage spaces for medical supplies, and an elevator for deck-to-deck -deck patient transport. The hospital ship is also going to be equipped with a heli deck, two high-speed crafts or sea ambulances, a beaching ramp, a hyperbaric chamber, a cargo bay, and a morgue. The proposed hospital ship is expected to cost 3 billion pesos and another 1 billion pesos for the equipment. Quoting quotes, For an archipelago like the Philippines, the hospital ship is an indispensable tool for disaster response. The country need not to wait for the next disaster and wished it had at least one. Admiral Orsabia stressed as he ended his presentation.